everyone and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about comfort reading. So over the past few weeks I've been reading a lot of these funny light-hearted reads, books you can really immerse yourself into and forget about reality and I really really had a lot of fun. I read most of these during Easter break and ever since I've been craving to read more because I had so much fun. So I have three books here and they're all funny and all very bingeable. One of them is a series so you can continue on if you want to, that's what I did. And there's a chiclet in it as well and then one historical fiction. So let's start with the historical fiction one which is Miss Pettigrew Lives Through a Day by Winifred Watson. So this was the first of those uh, comfort reads I picked up and it was really at the right time for me. It was so much fun to read this. It is from 1938 and in it we follow Miss Pettigrew one day of her life. She is this middle-aged governess who is really struggling to find employment, she is afraid to end up in the workhouse if she cannot pay her rent to be turned out on the street, so she's really struggling. She would do anything just to find a great employment. So when she by mistake is being sent uh, to work for this nightclub singer, she decides to just take it as it comes and her life changes completely in the span of a day. There's just so many twists and turns and it's just so funny, entertaining and fast-paced to read. It's really short as well, just above 200 pages, so it can be read in an afternoon. And this one is also adapted into a movie with Amy Adams. So I haven't seen the movie yet, but I'm really looking forward to doing that in the near future. So if this is the kind of book you would enjoy, I would really recommend it. I think I really had a lot of fun reading it. The next book I picked up was Sophie Kinsella's My Not So Perfect Life. I picked this up as an audio and it was really fun uh, listening to it. I think this book is the perfect combination between The Devil Wears Prada and The Bridges Jones Diaries because it's the same type of writing, the same type of humor and the same type of main character. So we follow Katie Brenner here. She's, uh, she's this young professional living in London, com coming from a really small town. She always dreamed about going to London and she dreamed about having a really glamorous life there. But now that she's in London, her life is far from being glamorous to the outside world. She's really struggling by with the job, which doesn't pay a lot. She has crappy flatmates and a crappy salary, crappy clothes. Just things are not just not going well. Her boss, though, she is living an amazing life. Exactly the life Katie wants to live. And Katie is really... Uh, admiring her boss but also a bit stalking her i think uh, it's it's kind of de developed into an obsession i i believe um, so it's 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 a bit creepy <laughs> as well and uh, suddenly katie gets fired and then she has to go back home to somerset where she has to live on the family farm she actually turns this farm into a successful business it's like a vacation outdoorsy type of camping business and she's really miserable there. She only wants to go back to London, but she's really un unable to do so. And then uh, at some point, her boss turns up as a guest at their farm. And then just things uh, change from there. So it seems like I told you a lot about it. And actually, this is the premise of the book, so not much else happens in it. But I think what's fun about this is, is, is being in Katie's head and just following her and all the mishaps and all the funny turns and events and what happens between her and her boss. She also kind of finds love throughout this book. So it's really fun and lighthearted. I think it was the perfect one for me. I don't think this is one of the best uh, books of uh, Sophie Kinsella. It's definitely not the most popular one, but this one was the one available for me at the library and I didn't mind reading it. I really had fun. I don't know how to rate it though, but it was the perfect read for me at the time and I think I will pick up some more Sophie Kinsella books in the near future. And the last book I want to talk about is Burn For Me by Ilona Andrews. This one is book one in the Hidden Legacy series. Now I have to tell you that I binged the whole series. So I have read everything out. I think the next book is coming out this year and uh, I really enjoy it. I think I read like four of these books and the novella in the span of like three, three and a half days. I just really could not get enough of them. And I, even though they are kind of formulaic and um, 
repetitive in the plot and the setup, I really enjoyed the being in this world and with these characters. So this is basically a paranormal romance, urban fantasy with like superhero type of characters because in this world, humans have augmented abilities, which they can increase if they marry into other families which have these powers so their children can get even more powerful and their abilities are increased so they almost turn into these godlike superheroes in a way it is really an, an interesting world and it i can tell that there's a lot of effort be put into world building and character development and I wanted to read this because I wanted to read something more romance focused, but not not a book which is completely taken over by the romance. And, and this was exactly that. So the romance is integral to the story, but it doesn't take over the storyline. It is very much action packed and twisty turny and it's really a page turner. This book is also a detective novel, kind of a murder mystery, so there's this investigative uh, element to it. And our main protagonist team up to solve uh, a mystery, but there's also an overarching plotline. As I said, I read the whole series and I just like that there's just so many things happening, you know. I really like the two main characters, even though they were a bit cliched and uh, this is just what you would expect from this type of book, I think. Our main female character was is, is the detective and she is teaming up with our main male lead to, uh, to solve this crime. Now, she is really uh, snarky and funny and really a strong female character. And the male character is this uh, alpha type, uh, kind of controlling and domineering. And I think it's pretty normal for these type of books and to have this type of male character, but I'm really happy that the heroine stood her place and didn't let herself be bullied and it didn't let herself be manipulated and uh, she stood up for herself so there's this interesting dynamic between the two with like she really is into him and there's too much repetition of how into him she is and how when he enters the room she can think clearly but there's also a lot of like i'm not gonna get into these feelings i just have to focus on what's happening right now so there's all this kind of dynamic between the two so the romance is really slow burning and really takes a lot of time developing and i think that's what makes this couple and this this series credible because i think that's the flaw of many romances that like there's this insta connection and insta love and insta lust basically so you kind of feel that there's not enough time for these these characters to develop actual feelings so I was really happy that this did not happen in these books and um, I will definitely continue on with this series when the next book comes out and I will definitely pick up more of uh, Ilona Andrews's books in the future so these are all the books I wanted to talk about today let me know what kind of books are you picking up these times I think many of us are turning to comfort reads and I guess these type of books are just the perfect ones for me I know a lot of people also turn to mystery thrillers for example I've also been reading some of those but I don't think I can really immerse myself in them in the same way I can immerse myself in these romances I guess so this is what I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.